Hey Eurovoxers, so we are feeling the love and we are here with the gorgeous <laughs> Goldstone. I'm going to get the names muddled up. So we've got Helen. Yes. Helen, Hi. Amy. Rihanna. And Rihanna. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Rihanna. Nice to meet you girls. How are you finding this crazy Eurovision experience so far? It's oh, so, it's so exciting. Yeah, we're yeah. having a ball. We really are. I don't Is want it, it to end. No, no. <laughs> well, hopefully it won't. Hopefully yeah. it won't. <laughs> have you been put together for Eurovision? Or? No, no, no. Tell us the story. Go on, Helen, you take this. So, um, Amy and I met in a show called Dirty Dancing. We were touring for a year and uh, we were really, really good friends and we loved singing together. So, we're like, we should do this when we get back and so we put together a band and then we met Rhiannon we're like great third member sorted and yeah. we've been together for about three years now isn't it yeah, yeah three years yeah. <laughs> and as and you can be honest with this has Eurovision always been an ambition yes Yes. Yes. Oh, we've got a super fan over yes. here. Yes. Hey. I'm a massive fan. I've been a big fan since I was a kid. Um, me and my mum used to have parties and yeah, all sorts really. So it's it's a dream come true, really. And and how did it happen? I mean, how did the song come about? You know. Well, they have um, they have a big writers camp now, which is so exciting because they have all these incredible writers that have written for some crazy people, and they all get together and they all write specifically for the Eurovision. So, and as you probably know, the songs are so strong this year; oh, they're so amazing. good. Such a good year. So, yeah, we feel really lucky that we've had the opportunity, really. And the songs, we love the song; it's wicked. Yeah, so. no, a really uplifting. Yeah. Song is it's garnered a lot of support as well from fans. I yeah. mean, have you heard any of the reactions? Any of the feedback? Yeah, the uh, fans have been so nice. Yeah, it's like they? the best fans ever, the Eurovision fans. Yeah, They're so on it, and it's yeah. amazing. Yeah, it's been incredible. We're really a bit hard. crazy as well. We're a bit crazy. <laughs> in a good way, but that's good. You've got to be a little bit crazy in life. And we love a party. Yeah. <laughs> So do we. So, do we. <laughs> so, I mean, tell us, tell us about the performance. You're allowed to give anything away. You can't give too much away. No, it's got to be a but, surprise. Yeah. But yeah, we love putting on full a of show. energy, full of energy. Yeah. Yeah. You know, we Sass. want everyone to dance and sing along. Yeah. Girl power. Girl power. Girl power. <laughs> uh, we love, we love a bit, we love a bit of girl power. Yeah. So, earliest your vision memories for you all. Um, well, I was. I didn't actually know it was Eurovision at the time, but my earliest memory is watching Sonia on TV, and I was like, oh my God, she's so beautiful. She sounds amazing. And I was a little bit mesmerized by her. And then I just remember here in Eurovision, it took me a few years to actually realize what that was, but that was, that was definitely my first memory, and it's like stuck in there all this time. Yeah, she's great. She is great. She's so good. I think mine was, um, I remember being at primary school and hearing this song, um, Say It Again by Precious. Oh. <laughs> and I, oh, you know, I guess a girl band. I've been a girl band fan ever since. Um, so yeah, that was my early memory. I remember just being in class at school and singing it over and over when Aww. I was supposed to be doing work. Um, yeah, so that's mine. <laughs> okay. Mine, not really like an early memory, but I'm. I love rock music. So Lordy, when when Lordy did it. Oh, yeah. Good choice. Yeah. Good choice. We like we like that one. We like that one. So in terms of kind of your career outside of, of you decide. You know, are we going to hear a lot more from, from you girls? Have you already got an album ready to go? Or? I hope so. Yeah. We've got a few things on the back burner. But, we, you know, we're just really waiting to see what happens on the 7th. But, yeah. But for sure, we'll still be a we'll group. Still, yeah. Yeah, yeah, we'll still be together forever. Yeah. Yeah. And you spoke a lot about having having fun. You really get a sense, actually, of how much fun that you girls have together. I yeah. can see this, this like, yeah. a whole big party vibe. Yeah, yeah, yeah we're definitely. so lucky. We, like, literally get to live the dream. We love what we do. We do it with our best friends travel the world it's it's the best yeah it's, it's so best. grateful every day that we get yeah. to do it's that. not a job is it it's, it's not like, a job it's just we have yeah. fun every single day yeah. <laughs> So you, when you decide next week, what yes. are you girls doing to celebrate? Oh my god! Well, well, Amy's going to show us around. I'm going to show you yeah. around Brighton. It's where I live. Okay. So okay. yeah, we'll go out on the town. Oh. <laughs> yes, for sure. There'll be a party. Yes. Yeah. And the next morning, what would your thoughts be? Oh my god! I'm going to be honest. I probably won't sleep because <laughs> no. I'll be so excited. Yeah. So, I don't know. Yeah. We're just going to be in shock. I think it's going to be incredible. Well, listen, if you girls get selected, Eurovision is a crazy, crazy world. I know we've heard. But I think, I think, I think you would love it. Lisbon's going to be a great host. Yes, well. yes. And there's a lot of people rooting for you girls, you know, real positive vibe. Yes. And that's great to see. Thank so you. thank you so much for talking thank to us. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening and good luck next week. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs>